Hey everybody, it's your boy Codexual here, and I'm going to be showing you how to make your internet speed faster on the PS4. Now this will help out with your gameplay, lower latency, lower ping, uh, faster downloads if you're downloading a big file on your um, PS4. So, a couple of things I want to be talking about, and before we do, if you guys haven't hit that sub button, please go ahead and do so. Get the post notifications turned on. Hit the like button, share this on all of your social media, because I do enjoy growing this channel and educating everyone about how to make their products better for them. Now, once our channel grows, you grow with us to be one big happy family. Okay, so I'm assuming that you're on your PS4, and you want to get to your network settings. So by doing so, go to your PS4 main menu, and look for the toolbox icon that says settings. Go ahead and click on that click on network and we want to set up the internet connections we're going to be talking about Wi-Fi and Ethernet LAN cable so let's go ahead and work with Wi-Fi first because I'm sure a lot of you are on Wi-Fi and I just want to tell you the difference between the two if you can have the option of connecting a Ethernet cable towards your modem do that because it'll show more of a promising result. Now I can understand the circumstances that the modem's so far away and you just simply can't. So that's why you got to depend on Wi-Fi. But either way, now as you see on the SSID uh, CMD 2.4 gigahertz, if you are um. So if your PS4 is a 5 gigahertz enabled and your router has 5 gigahertz, connect to that Wi-Fi because you'll have more promising speeds over um, a 5 gigahertz instead of a 2.4. Now, the next thing is I want to tell you about the NAT type. There's a NAT type 1, it means you're connected to the internet. NAT type 2 means you're connected to the internet and there's no problems whatsoever. You you have an awesome gameplay. NAT type 3 means that you do have restrictions. So I just want to let you know if you ever get a NAT type 3, um, in the link below there will be another video uh, how to fix that. Okay, so to continue on, the connection speed is the 17.7 megabytes per second and the upload is the 1.6 megabytes per second. That's horrible speed. My internet's a whole lot faster than that. And again, I mean, this is Wi-Fi, and I'm really close to the, my modem. But either way, um, we're going to work with the Ethernet LAN cable. So, yeah, still stay tuned, because with um, once I'm done showing you this demonstration of why Ethernet is better, you will still get a benefit of this tips and tricks, so it can work with Wi-Fi or can work with an Ethernet LAN cable. So let's go ahead and work with the uh, LAN cable. I chose easy mode to set it up, and we're going to go ahead and test the internet connection. Okay, so now that you see a increase over the LAN cable, which is 68.7 megabytes per second, and roughly the upload speed is still the same. That's completely fine. I'm more worried about my download. Now, on to the next trick. The actual thing that you are here to see to make your speeds a whole lot faster. Let's go ahead and go back to the setup internet connection. Now, it's going to be the same process if you're using Wi-Fi or using LAN cable. I'm going to go ahead and choose LAN cable. We're going to choose custom, so in your Wi-Fi, you're going to choose custom after you connect to it and whatnot. So choose custom on your Wi-Fi, uh, or if you're choosing LAN, choose custom. Anyways, continue on. IP addressing, uh, settings, automatic, uh, DHCP host name, do not specify, DNS settings, this is where we want to choose manual. Now. As for the primary DNS, what you want is 1.1.1.1. And as for the secondary DNS, you want 1.0.0.1. So write this down. 
and pause the video and come back. Whatever. <laughs> Let's let me talk about this. I choose this DNS settings first and foremost anything over any other DNSs. What is the DNS? Or what is this particular DNS of address that the numbers that you're putting in? Basically, Cloudflare is the host of this DNS, which is a huge company that provisions routing. Basically, if you, on the outside of your network, uh, of your home, there's this hub that you're connected to with everyone else that, disparate, that uh, sends out the internet. So you're routed into that junction box. And from there, it routes towards another junction box. And so instead of using the default DNS that your ISP uses, it searches for another junction box within a shorter range to keep that lower latency, that lower ping, if you will, if that makes any sense. So even if you were to type in 1.1.1.1 on your web address browser, it will tell you the rest of the benefits. So um of using this dns and i strongly prefer to use this dns on all my devices because they are really um strict about privacy like they don't like leaking out privacy you know the whole facebook scandal and whatnot anyways um we're going off in a little bit of a tangent here or whatever so the next secondary dns is going to be 8.8.8.8 Eight. Then done, and as for the secondary, is going to be eight point eight point four point four, and going to hit done. So, if one point one point one point one, and the one point zero point zero point one, if those DNS settings doesn't work great for you, then try out these DNS settings. These is Google's DNS settings. However, we're going to go back to the 1.1.1.1. And as for the secondary, oops. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and hit next. And EMT, uh, MTU settings automatic proxy server do not use and now we're gonna go ahead and test out our internet connection so let's go ahead and do that okay so 98.9 megabytes per second and the upload speed is still roughly around about the same that's completely fine again I'm worried about the download speed so give those dns addressing a chance between the 1.1 1 .1, um or the 8.8.8 .8 whatever try out the cloudflare cloudflare dns or the google's dns if you guys need those addressing i will leave a link or the numbers down in the description below as well with other many links such as if you're having other networking problems or if you're having a net type issue so if you guys find this video helpful, please seriously like the video, share this on, on your social media, share it with your friends because if you have a teammate and you're trying to play some Fortnite and they're lagging, they can really benefit from this. So you want to get those wins, you want to have faster download speeds, if you're buffering on Netflix, this is going to help out. So yeah <laughs> i'm just really trying to educate everyone and hopefully that this will get out there and everyone has awesome gameplay and entertainment all right so i'll see you in the next video and uh, you all take care peace out what's up yeah i'm back on my shit again chasing benjamins run until the very end yeah every day i'm feeling great better than the day before and you can see it on my face smiling with my glasses on like i'm blind to all the hate i can see all of you waving i'm just acting like a cake as long